Good afternoon, everyone. This video will be covering the report called Nature's Way Totals Report. This is the report that I passed out in class. So to continue with this video, I would get that handout in front of you, and we'll discuss that as we go through this uh, demonstration. I will be using the database called Use for Tonight, which is the same database that we use during class. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now, before I even begin, um, I'm going to enable content. But I also want to talk to you about looking at the report before we even begin to, uh, to create it. I noticed that the title, Nature's Way Totals Report, is only on the first page of the report. To me, that's a clear sign that that belongs into the report header section. The report header section will only show up on the first page of the report. And as I go through the nine pages, I discover that that is the case. So that will go into the report headers section. So I would write yourself a little note next to that to let you know that. In addition to that, I notice that the, the labels, the order ID, ship name, order date, etc., is uh, on every single page, all nine pages. That, to me, demonstrates that it's in the page header section. A page header section, whatever is in it, will show up on every single page. If I look down toward the bottom, I notice that both the date and the page numbers are both, both of those are on all nine pages. So that tells me that they belong in the page footer section. When we're all said and done, we will be dealing with uh, report header, page header, a group header section, the detailed section, the group footer section, page footer section, and report footer section. So quite a few sections as we go through this report. Okay, I also notice that I have a table here that says totals used for the report. So that's the, that's the table that I will use to generate the report that you have in front of you. Okay, to create everything new, we go to the Create Ribbon. So I'm going to click on the Create Ribbon, and I'm going to create this in Report Design View. Report Design View. So I click on that. A uh, matrix of dots comes up, kind of like a painter's, painter's palette. Um, nothing on it right now. Um, I'm going to choose to maximize this to make it easier for me to work with. So there I go. Okay, all I have is some dots, and it doesn't quite understand what I'm going to use to create this. And so I have to come over here to where it says Add Existing Fields to pick the table and the fields that I want to use for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. This section over here to the right now appears called the field list. I'm going to click on the button that says show all tables which will list the two tables that I currently have in the database. So I click that and sure enough I see the customers table and the totals used for report table. This is the one I'm going to use so I'm going to click the plus sign next to it to show me all the fields that are contained in that table. And there are the fields that I will be using to generate this report in front of you. Okay, I'm not going to do this in any sequence or, or care where I put them. I'm just going to take these fields and move them into my detailed section. So I click and drag and drop. Click and drag and drop. Click and drag and drop and you get the idea. And I'm going to do this for each and every field and just put them somewhere in this grid I'm not paying any particular attention as to uh, where I'm putting them. I'm just getting them in there for right now. Okay, now I am technically done with the field list, so I'm going to close this to get it out of my way. Okay, now, as we talked about in class, we have two of everything. We have order ID, order ID, order date, order date. The one on the left, this one right here, and this, and this, etc., are what are known as the label controls. That tells the user what they're going to be seeing in the box uh, next to it or underneath it or whatever the case may be. The label control you can change to whatever you want. If you want to put a space between order and ID, you're more than welcome to. The labels can be changed to whatever you want to change them to be. Uh, to be. 
The text box control, however, the ones in the white, cannot ever, 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 ever be changed. Those are directly linked to your table. So that is the field name that it's coming from the table. It will get very mad at you if you go ahead and change this by putting a space between order and ID. Um, it, you'll get a pound and question marks and things like that when you go out to look at this report because it wouldn't understand what field name that is. You must leave those as is. Okay? All right. So now we're going to start putting this masterpiece together. Again, I discovered that the labels are on every single page. So these labels, the ones right here, the ones that I said you could change to whatever you want, these need to go up into the page header section. Now, we did it one way in class where I told you that you could right-click cut, come up here, right-click paste, and then move them if necessary. Right-click cut, right-click paste, move. Right-click cut, right-click paste, move. You get the idea. But I found it a little bit easier way perhaps to do that, and that is I'm going to line them up right underneath my detail bar just in the exact same order as I see them on the report. So I'm going to click on order ID. I'm going to use the square up in the, the gray square up in the upper left corner so that this control moves all by itself and doesn't move this one with it. So I click here, hold down the left side of my mouse, and I'm going to drag it to right there. Then I'm going to take ship name, which is the next one on my report and repeat the process and put them right there like that. Ship name, then I'm going to take order date, move it, and I'm going to line these up as best I can. Product names next, take that up there. Then I'm going to take uh, retail price, okay, like that. And then I'm going to take quantity, and then finally, after quantity, will come total, using these dots to help me line things up. Okay. And now to move these from the detailed section into the page header, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these by clicking right here and holding down the left side of my mouse and drawing like a line through these to select them all. Okay. Then I'm going to right-click, cut, come up here into this area, right-click, paste, and voila, I have them in a nice, neat order. Okay, so we're step one. We're on our way. Now, I'm going to take the text boxes, these that are in white, and I'm going to line them up underneath the labels as best I can. And I'm not going to be perfect with this. I understand that, but we can deal with that later. So I'm going to click here, use the gray box, and drag that over here. And just for this one, I'm going to resize it by putting my pointer right here on the right edge and clicking and holding down the left side of my mouse and making it smaller. Because I notice on the report that I only have a one digit or perhaps two digit in there, and the box doesn't need to be that wide. Okay, now I take ship name and move that up here. And again, don't worry about perfection at this point. We can resize later. But I just want to get this going here. So order dates next. Then product name, and then retail price, and then quantity. And I also notice that quantity doesn't need to be that big, so I'm going to reduce that size as well. And as I said in class, we can only go to the 6.5 inch mark on our ruler. So I'm going to resize this a little bit by dragging it out like that, holding on the left side of my mouse and dragging it out. Because we have one inch margins on both sides, the left and the right. So we take an eight and a half sheet of paper minus the two inches, one for the left and one for the right, and that leaves us with six and a half of, uh, inch of workable area. If you go beyond that, you will get a nasty message that tells you you're beyond the page width and all of that. So, Okay, again, I understand that they're not lined up perfectly, but for right now, we're going to leave it like that. All right, I'm going to go out and take a look at what it looks like right now by going to View, Report View. Okay, and, and I noticed that I have a big, wide gap between each record. And that is caused by, so I'm going to go back to Design View to take care of that. That is caused by this large empty space in my detail section. I do not want that empty space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I see the top of the bar here that says Page Footer. 
And I'm going to put my pointer there, and I get that line with an arrow going up and down. At this point, I'm going to click and hold down the left side of my mouse. And I'm going to drag that bar up until it's about one row of dots underneath my, my text boxes. Okay, so now that when I come out here to look at it in report view, I don't have that wide space between each record. Okay, so it's coming together. Now I'm going to go back to design view. Okay, as I specified in class, the particular order in which you do things is not that important. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing it the way I do it, you can always uh, rearrange the order of things how you do it. But I'm going to deal with the Nature's Way Totals Report title for right now. And we discussed how that is in the report header section, of which I'm not seeing right now. I'm only seeing page header, detail, and page footer. So I want to add the report header section, and in addition to that, it will also add the report footer section. And the way I do that is this blank area in the details section, right to the right of my totals box here, I'm going to right click, and from the menu that comes up, I'm going to click on report header and footer. And that will add my other two sections. Okay? Now, the Nature Way Totals Report is a label. So I need to come up to my ribbon up here and use the label control, which is the capital A, small a. I'm going to click on it. I'm not going to hold anything down. I'm just going to click on it. And then I'm going to come down into the report header section, and I'm going to click here, and a little white box comes up and is ready for me to type the, the title. So I'm going to type in Nature's Way totals report and hit enter. Okay, now I notice that it's not centered across my report like I would like it to be. So we talked about how there is a center button on the home ribbon, this center button, but that centers it inside the box. Well, that does not guarantee me that it's centered across the report unless I make my text box here, my label control box, excuse me, my label control box as wide as the report. So I'm going to click and drag that out and do the same thing on the left side, drag it over to the left. And now when I hit the center button, it is centered right in the middle of my report. Okay, I'm also going to change it to a font size of 24 and bold it and maybe make red text out of it. Now, you're probably concerned that I'm only seeing half of my title here, but if I come right to the right edge, right there, and I get the double arrows, left and right arrow, if I double click, it resizes my box and makes it uh, visible, the whole thing visible uh, to me. Okay, now if I go back out to report view, which I do periodically to see how things are going, hey, it's looking pretty darn good. Okay, so back to design view I go. The next thing I'm going to take care of are the bottom things in the uh, page footer section, the date and the page number. The date is the one that is the hardest to work with uh, because you don't have the option of telling it where to put it because it will automatically put it into the report header section at which point I then have to move it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here on the ribbon where it says date and time. So I click on that. I do not want the time, so I'm going to remove that check mark. And if I look at the report, this is the one that they're using. So I want to make sure the dot's next to that. And then I click OK. And as you can see, it moves it up here, where it's not where I, which is not where I want it. I want it down into the page footer section. So the best and only way that you really should do this is put your pointer up here on the box that says equals date. Right click, do cut. Then come down into the page footer section, right click, paste, to put it down there. Okay? That's really the only way that you should do that. And then it notice that it also resized my report, so I've got to move that back to six and a half inches. Now isn't that a pain in the neck? I understand, um, but that's what we've got to do. All right, now the page number is a little bit easier because I can specify exactly where I want the page numbers to go. So this time I'm going to click on page numbers. And I want the page N of M. That's page 1 of 9, page 2 of 9, page 3 of 9. That's the format I want. I want it to be in the bottom of the page in the footer. 
and I want it to be on the right side, right aligned. Okay, I click OK, and that one works perfectly. It puts it right where I need it. Okay, so we're getting this together now. So I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, okay, what do I have to do next? Well, I noticed just by visually looking at this that it is grouped by ship name. It's got all the Dustin Carneys together, all the Bath Essentials together, all the Alice Grant, etc. And then it's also sorted by order ID. So I'm going to come down to this special section down here that says add a group and add a sort. Now, if you're not seeing this, this is the button up here on the ribbon that controls that. You would just simply have to click on it to display that section. All right, we're going to do the sort first and then the group. So I click on Add a Sort, and I'm going to sort it by Order ID. And then I'm going to add a group, and I'm going to group by ship name. Okay, see how that works? Now, I'm going to go out and view it. As I said, I periodically do this to see how things are going. And it looks perfect, except... I notice that it repeats these over and over and over again, where in the report handout, it does not do that. Plus, it appears to be a little higher than the rest of the data. So I'm going to take care of that by going back to Design View. And I'm going to take these two text boxes and move them from the Detailed section into the Ship Name header. So I'm going to click on this and drag it up and put it in there. And take ship name and do the same thing. Move it up there. And let's see what happens now if I go out to report view. Aha! That looks so much better. Okay, the next thing that I've got to do is take care of the totals. If you look to the far left or far right column where it says total, there is a total for each group. And if you turn to the very last page, there's also a grand total. So that's what I'm going to take care of next. I go back to Design View, and I need to have a Ship Name Footer section, which is not displaying right now. So I have to tell it to please display that Ship Name Footer section. And I do that by coming down here and clicking on Group on Ship Name, and then clicking this button that says More Options, or More. I click that little arrow. And right over here where it says without a footer section, I'm going to drop this arrow down and say with a footer section. And you'll notice that it adds this next this uh, section here. Now, that's the section that I need to use to get a group total. And the way that I'm going to accomplish that is up on my ribbon, I have this AB line called a text box. I'm going to click on that and then click in this section underneath the total and I get a box that says unbound. It says unbound because it's not directly bound to the table. There is no field. It is up my obligation to tell Access what to put in that box. And what I wanted to put in there is the sum of the total for each group. So I'm going to click in here where it says unbound and I'm going to type equals sum open parentheses much like you would do in Excel and then in square brackets, I'm going to put the field name of total. Close my square bracket, close my parenthesis. And then I'll click over here to deselect it, if you will. Okay, let's go out to report view and see what it looks like. Oh, I've got my totals, 12, 5, 2,000. Now, they're not formatted very nice, but I did it. I got the sum of each group. So let's make them look nice now, and then we'll also take care of this and put the word total in there instead of this text and a number. So back to design view, back and forth we go. To get them to look pretty with a dollar sign and two decimal places, I'm going to right click on this box and go all the way down to the bottom where it says properties. And I'm going to tell it to format it as, dropping this arrow down, as currency. Okay? And then I can close that box. And then here is where I'm going to change it to say total. So I, I click on it. I highlight the text 10 and replace it with the word total. OK. Let's go out again. I know this is uh, redundant going back and forth. But I'm going to go out to report view. And look at that. I've got the totals in there. Now, 
really one of the last things that I'm going to have to do is I also get a, I have to get a grand total for the entire report. And that means I need to have this same thing down here. The section dictates what it's going to give you. If it's in the group footer section, it's going to give it to you for each group. If you have it in the report footer, it's going to give it to you for the entire report. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these two. And the way I do that is I click here, hold down the left side of my mouse, and draw a line through them. And that selects both of them. I'm going to right-click, copy. I'm going to come down here and right-click, paste. And then I'm going to move it over to be right underneath where the totals are and let's see if it worked I go back out to report view and I'm gonna go all the way down to the last page of my report and there it is 2315 we did it now I'm also gonna go back to design view and change this to say grand total so back to design view I go click in here I'm gonna click right before the letter T and type in grand space for grand total all right this is looking really good. Now, what we didn't cover in class is really how to line these things up better and also how to add lines if you want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that in this video. I'm going to go back to Design View. And to move these, you would just do something like this, where you click and drag it. And you know, you're going to have to go back and forth to the different view, uh, to report view, to see how it looks. But you do something like this and line them up a little bit better and, and just keep tweaking it and tweaking it until it looks good. All right. Now, it might also require you to do things like expand the box a little bit, you know, like I'm going to do for ship name here, because some of those could be a little bit longer. So I go back out to report view, and it's looking a lot better. This is down a little bit too far, but you get the idea. And I'm not going to spend too much time on that, because that's just kind of making it look uh, tweaking a little bit. So I'm going to move this up so that it's in line with all the rest of them. Move it up just a little bit like that. OK. Now, if you are interested in doing the lines, um, I'm only going to add one. I'm going to add one underneath the nature waste total. And so I need a little bit more room. So I'm going to come at the top of this bar, click and drag down a little bit so I've got some space underneath it. And up here in the toolbar, we have a line tool. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to hold uh, hold down the left side of my mouse and drag a line across. And you got to have a steady hand here. I'm going to move there. See if see how I barely see, I don't even see a line because that means I'm in a straight line. I let go, and there it is. Okay. And then I would do the same thing above it and one underneath my labels. Uh, but if you know how to do one, you know how to do three. And to change it, if you want to change the type of line or the thickness of the line, you can right click on the line and go to properties. And all of these properties are for that line. And so I can do things like border width. I'm going to change the thickness of it. See how that worked? The style from solid to dashes. OK, you get the idea. Go out to report view to see what I've got and look at that. All right, that pretty much wraps up the report. I hope this helps, and you can, can watch this as many times as you want. But I'm going to stop the video for now. And um, if you have any additional questions, please see me during class time. During class time. Thank you.